uh, flying out of the country today, so he's on like a 20 hour flight. So I'd rather be here than on that flight. So we're gonna talk about flight protection today and we're gonna focus mainly on our fly masks and our fly boots. A lot of you are probably thinking it's a little too soon to get into that category of items right now, but fly season is right around the corner and I'd rather have them than be stuck and need them when you want to put it on your fly mask. And personally, down here in Southern California, we've had a few weeks of like weather in the like high 70s, low 80s. My fly, my horse is super sensitive to flies and she's been wearing her fly mask for the last few weeks already. Um, and it's not always the flies that you're gonna want to, flies aren't the only reason you would wanna use your fly mask on your horse. My horse is very sensitive to the sunlight and also to the pollen and dust. And we had a very wet, uh, rainy winter for us, which is very rare in Southern California. So we've got a lot of pollen and everything flying around. If I don't put her fly mask on, then she, her eyes get all nice and watery and infected. So it also works to serve as a protection against any kind of pollen or dust or dirt if you're in a really dry area as well. Alrighty, so fly masks. We have six different styles of fly masks, and I'm gonna go ahead, they're all laid out here, so I'm gonna open them up and show them to you as we go. Now, all of our fly masks are gonna have a double dart for the eye, which comes from the bottom of the mask, and it's gonna do a V to poke out the actual eye area so they have additional eye clearance. The other feature that all of our fly masks are gonna have is our double locking closure on the throat latch. I'm gonna put this one down. So as you can see, that makes it a little harder than your standard fly mask to get on and off because you actually have to close it in there. And then the other feature is they're all gonna have elastic at the throat latch. Now, if your fly mask fits well around the face and you have a little extra of this, the hook part of or I think this is the loop part of the Velcro, you can actually just cut that area down. I'm gonna fold it over for now and then put that like that. So you can make sure you get that tight fit if it fits the rest of your horse really well. All right, so this is our most basic version of our fly mask. If your horse doesn't have sensitive ears or you're not on the East Coast where you get a lot of gnats, this is a great option. Um, so it's just gonna be lined with web trimming and it's gonna have a dual uh, forelock opening so both the ears come through and you're gonna be able to have your forelock come out. Uh, so that's our basic, it's called a KFM 100 or it's just called the fly mask with web trim. So we're gonna toss that down. And that. Oh, and that was our deluxe red color. I'll go through the colors. I'm pretty sure we got one of each color. So our next bar, the fly mask is gonna be our 200 style, which is pretty similar to the 100, except instead of web, web trim, it has fleece. So what this fleece does is it provides a little extra um, layer of comfort. So if you snug up your fly masks really tight, this is a great option. Um, because it does, it's pretty flush. It's a thick fleece, it's not a light fleece. And that's the only difference between this, the last mask I showed you and this one, and this is our deluxe black color. All right, so toss that. Okay, so the next style we have is gonna be our 300 style, and that's gonna be a fly mask with soft mesh ears and fleece trim. So the added bonus from this one, from the last one you saw, is you get these wonderful little ears. And they're very movable so that when your horse's ears are going back and forth and listening to you and hopefully not pinning their ears back too much, uh, they're gonna go with your horse's ears. Now, a lot of people wonder if this is a good option or not for their horse. Um, it can be a really great option for your horse, but there are some horses who aren't gonna like their ears covered. And that's why we have options that don't come with ears. And this is our lavender mint color. Toss that. All right. So our next style is called our 
400 fly mask, and that one has the works. So this one is going to come with those soft mesh ears like the last mask, but it is just going to be a basic web trim again. It's not going to have that plush fleece. Uh, so we got the ears for the movement, and then right here we have an additional feature. Our Velcro is very good, guys. So it's a good feature that it's taking me this long. I mean, your horse and his buddies will have that much harder of a time taking it off. So, this mask comes with a removable nose piece. So, when you get your mask, it's not going to come attached. So, you're going to have to add it. I'm going to step a little closer for you. And you're just going to line it up all the way down and then fold over the other piece. And that way you have full coverage, which is going to be great for your horses who have lighter faces or if your horse is um, susceptible to any kind of sunburn or skin cancer, this is a great option to give them protection. All of our fly masks material is it's all made from the same material textiline which is 73 percent uv rated so it's not just going to keep the flies off it's going to protect them from the uv rays as well now the reason we have this removable is i don't know if you've ever used a nose piece on a fly mask or not but typically they get pretty dirty pretty quickly because your horse is going in their water bucket they're going to eat their hay their grain if you happen to wet your grain they get dirty even faster um, so it's great that it's removable because then you can just remove this piece and clean this and just hose that off instead of having to do something with the entire mask. Um, I have used this style on my horse before and when the nose piece gets dirty I just go ahead and take this off and I leave this part on her and I rinse this, let it dry for a little bit and then I put it back on. So that was our fly mask with ears and removable nose piece. So now some of you are probably thinking, well what if I want one? or the other, and I don't want both of them. Well, we've got options for you too. <coughs> Sorry guys. So this is actually a new style. This is our 500. So this we actually came out with because people, we also already have just a ear option, but some people don't like the fleece. And the before this summer, the only version we had was soft mesh with fleece if you didn't want a nose piece. So now we have just a web trim one. This guy's actually wearing one already. His ears don't move that much, so don't mind him. <laughs> um, so this one's going to be web trimming and the ears. This is the nice thing about web trimming versus the fleece. I gave you kind of the benefits of the fleece. The web trimming is great if you're going to be living somewhere where you have a lot of debris because the fleece will pick up those burrs and things like that if your horse is out in a pasture setting. Alright, oh, you know what I forgot? This is Deluxe Red, and then this is Kentucky Blue. Alright, so I have one more style to show you guys in the fly mask, and this is our 600 style. So this is for you people who need that extra nose coverage, but your horse may not want to have um, any kind of ear coverage. This one is going to have the web trim, just like that style with the ears. The only difference is it's not going to have the ears, and you're going to have that dual opening, so you, both the ears can fit through, and your forelock as well. And it, it removes the same way, same benefit as far as that goes. So you can remove it. The other thing is, you know, maybe some days you're going to want to use your nose piece, and some days you won't, and so that's a great option. Okay, uh, I've got Jessie in my ear, and she says we've got a question. So what's uh, your question, Jesse? Lime green. I do not have any colors that have lime green. This is actually our last color that I'm going to show you. It's our black eyes. Now, if you're really lucky, you might find somewhere out there on one of our online retailers or maybe a tax store, they might have a mint ice color. That color has been discontinued since I started working here and I've been here for five years. 
So you're going to be hard pressed to find it, but it might be out there somewhere. So if you're looking for a lime green, the closest you're going to get is a mint ice. Um, but good luck with that search because it might be a wild goose chase. So, all right. So those are all our fly masks. Um, one of the questions we get a lot on fly masks is how do you I know what size my horse is? So I'm going to actually grab something real quick. have a catalog that if you guys want a catalog send us a DM with your address we'll go ahead and send that to you this is actually our older catalog we have a newer one but it's gonna have a measurement chart that tells you what to measure and how so all of these measurements are gonna be full measurements so for example measurement three when you get it is around the whole mid face that'll give you the idea of where the fly mask is going to end and how tight that portion of the fly mask would be on your horse. Um, so when you're measuring for a mask, what we're going to ask for is from pole to mid face. That'll let you know how low it'll go on your horse. We're going to do around the back of the pole, around the neck, and that'll let you know if the back's going to fit. And then the measurement I just mentioned up here around the mid face. Now, if you want, one of the fly masks with ears or one of the fly masks with nose pieces we have additional measurements for down the rest of the nose and up the ears so you can make sure that your horse is going to fit for those style of fly masks as well so with the measurements um, my best recommendation if you're not sure what your horse is check out our website kensingtonproducts.com we've got our charts on there or send us a dm with your address and let us know you want a catalog we'll send you one um, there are general recommendations out there, and I'll go over that right now. Um, so I'm going to be showing you the different sizes in the same style fly mask, so you get a better idea. So this is a medium fly mask. <clears throat> and the fly masks, when you're looking at them, always look a lot bigger than they do when they're next to the horse. So this is a size medium, and this is going to fit your smaller horses like your Arabs. It's considered our Arab cob size, so you might even get some... <clears throat> bigger ponies that fit into it, but mainly it's going to be, if you think Arab size, that's what our medium is going to be. And then our next size up from that is our large, which is considered our average size for horses, so quarter horse, thoroughbred are going to fit into this. Um, I personally have a paint mare, and this is what she fits into, like a charm. Um, a lot of the times when I'm at shows, people will look at this and be like, no, this is way too big for my horse. Trust me, if you get the size that you think your horse will be, regardless of how big it looks, it's most likely going to fit. Okay, question? What's a per Because it's removable? Okay. that double locking feature on our ones with the removable nose piece it does not pop off very easily so now I'm not gonna say that your horse isn't more clever than we are because sometimes they are and they figure out how to get around our clever ways we try to outsmart them but for the most part once you have this secure and you want to make sure that you make sure it's like nice and closed this really isn't going to go, oh, it might go somewhere, but I have to yank on it, and if it's on the center, it's not really going anywhere. So, they're pretty secure. The times I've used this for my personal horse, she's never been able to take it off, and I'd like to consider her a little rough on her products. So, the nose piece has always been there if that's what I'm attending. Alright, so I just showed you the large. We're going to move to our extra large in our fly mask. So you're probably thinking this looks huge, my horse would never be an extra large. It is a warm blood slash oversized, um, that's what we consider our extra large. This guy right here, he is an extra large size head. You don't look at his head and think it's super huge, but if I try and throw a large or a medium on him, that's not going to work at all. He's an extra large. And then some of our styles of fly mask, and not all of them, some of them come in some specialty sizes. So this is really big because it is a draft size horse, so your Clydesdales, your Percherons, your Belgians. Um, 
Okay, hold on. We got one more question. What's our question? That is a fantastic question. So the question Jesse is asking me is they had one of our fly masks with a removable nose piece and the nose piece was, you said too long or too short? Jesse. Okay, so we think it's too short. She just mentioned that it didn't fit properly for the nose length she was looking for. Um, so we do actually sell nose pieces on their own. It is an option. Um, so if you get one of the fly masks with the nose and the nose piece doesn't go as far down as you'd like it to go or you want it to go a little higher up, um, go ahead, check out our website and check out some of our online retailers, your local tech stores. We do sell, a, we call it a replacement nose piece, but it would serve also if you needed a different size. So we sell it in all the different sizes. Because when you purchase it as the full mask with the nose, it's gonna come with a standard size for that size. So the medium's gonna come with a correlating nose piece for a medium. But if you needed a larger nose piece, you can call us in and get a uh, nose piece for a size large fly mask. So I hope that clears that up. Oh, let me go back to this. So this is our draft size. And it's big, meant for the big guys. Alrighty, we also have Mini and pony masks as well in a few of our styles. I did not, I don't think I have any of those over here. Hey Jimmy, can you grab me the one that was over there that I had before? On the coat rack? We got a few helpers in here. There's a question on how do the horses see through the fly mask? Oh, that's a fantastic question actually. So I'd uh, um, pretty much compare them to the same way you're gonna see through a fly, uh, sorry, not a fly mask, you're not going to wear a fly mask, through sunglasses. There's going to be a darker tint to it, yeah, and, um, but you're still going to be able to see. So we're actually going to demonstrate with one of our masks right now. It's going to take a second for the, uh, the straps on there. There you go. Strap. So, uh, we have this on one of our feeds right now. We'll move it over. We've got three different cameras going, guys, so just to wait your turn. So not on the last two. The last two. Okay, so it was on Instagram before and now it's on Facebook and YouTube. It just has to focus. Yeah, let it focus for a second. Your eyes are better at focusing faster than a camera is going to be. So, um, but you can clearly see through all of it. It's just going to give you a tint to the outside world, but it's not like you can't see anything. So, uh, that was a little fun demonstration for you guys. So, this is one of our mini size masks. Um, this is going to be the only like smaller size mask I can show you. This is the mini comes in two sizes, A and B, and we also have measurements for that online as well as in our catalog. And uh, then we also have a pony size from up from here. Okay, so those are our fly masks. Uh, we're going to go over fly boots. It's not going to be as long. There's not as many styles. And I have them out already. So our fly masks, no fly boots for horses in a set of two so if you want to get full coverage for all your legs make sure to order two pairs this is going to be our 100 style which is just like just with web trim it's not going to feature any um, fleece like our 200 style is going to be fleece trimmed down the side so you get a little plush in there um, before this this is a new release the web trim is a new release for this year so if you've had fly boots before, your only option was with fleece. Uh, once again, we got some concerns about them getting the fleece getting dirty and picking up burrs and other debris. So we decided to go ahead and do a version without the fleece. So it's going to be better for those people who are having that issue. Now they come with three straps for adjustability. And we also have a measuring chart on those. Um, so you can go ahead and see what size would work best because they do come in multiple sizes. Our horse ones, I'd like to mention before I grab those other sizes, do have a plastic stay in them. Um, this one's featured in the trim, this one's featured in the back, and that stay helps keep the fly boots standing up so they don't bunch down as often when your horse is moving around. You are gonna get some 
slight bunching here because that's where they're going to be bending. Um, so if you see that after you purchase it, that's normal. And then let me grab my high boots. So. This one's a nice kind of quick demonstration for the sizes that the horse sizes come in. Medium, large, and extra large. So our medium, once again, is gonna be Arab cop. Our large is going to be our average horse and then extra large is gonna be warm blood size. So as you can see, they get a little taller and a little wider each size you go up. Now all of these sizes are in our catalog as well. So you're gonna have a circumference and you're gonna have a height on all of our fly boots. And then I did wanna give you another little visual and this one I'll go through is more. So these are all gonna be ones with, those ones were the 100 style with just the web trim. In the style with fleece or 200 style, we actually have Pony Mini and Draft, so they're super cute. Okay, we got a question. So Jesse, what's the question? No, getting, that's a great question. Somebody asked if a catalog costs you anything. It does not, it is absolutely free. We have a brand new catalog. It just got printed last week. We just got them at the end of last week. Come here, come here. So um, it does not cost any money whatsoever. It's free to you. It does cost us a little bit to get it to you, but to us, it's worth every penny to get it to you. So all we need is your address and we'll get one out to you as soon as possible. Okay guys. So these are our mini fly boots and these are our pony fly boots. Now the nice thing about these is um, unlike our standard size fly boots, these actually come in a set of four. So you only have to order one set to get full leg coverage. Our minis feature that double locking closure like our fly masks we've just been it we've, we found out minis are a little uh more determined to get these off so we had to go ahead and add that for these and then here's our pony fly boot and this one actually features a stay in it as well um the mini don't we found out they're so short in the first place that it, it we haven't been able to find a stay that works well for it so Pony comes in a set of four as well. Jesse's falling out of my ear, guys, sorry. All right, and then same thing, we've got our medium Arab size, large horse size, extra large warm blood size, and then I'll go through, no, I already threw this. I'll let you know these colors again. So lavender mint, Kentucky blue, black ice, and then this is gonna be our draft size fly boot. Um, and if, I'm gonna grab that extra large real quick again. There's a significant difference from going from your extra large to your draft. Much more of a difference than any of our other sizes. So uh, the draft is a little different of your pattern. So the stays are actually gonna be featured down the seam. And then they're not gonna have the fleece down the side. And these come in a set of two as well. So uh, we are gonna be doing a giveaway. So um, we do have a question for you. The first one who answers is gonna be the winner of the giveaway. Um, it's gonna be for a pair of fly boots and a fly mask set. So how many styles of fly masks does Kensington have? Anybody? Anybody? nobody yet so we'll keep talking I mean at this point just guess numbers guys oh we got a winner hold on waiting for the name is it plus the UV eater or just fly mask uh, NW what was it Okay, uh, so the correct answer is six. We have six styles of fly masks. Um, I am gonna throw out a real quick bonus question. We weren't planning on having two sets going out, but I'll throw out a bonus. How many style of fly boots do we have? 
Come on, I'm trying to give away free stuff, you guys. Okay, who's next? Becky Stinson, you are the second winner. Um, so go ahead, those two people that I mentioned that won, go ahead and DM us your address, what color and size you'd like. If you have questions about what's going to work, go ahead and throw your phone number in. We'll give somebody um, your number at the office so they can call you and go over sizing with you. And um, that's pretty much the video for this week. So unless there's some questions we haven't hit yet, I'm pretty sure we're Okay, we have a question of how to clean the fly boots. The easiest thing's gonna be is um, while you're out there with your horse, just take them off, hose them down um, with a power uh, nozzle would be best. And then when you're done for a fly season and you wanna put them away, I would go ahead and also use a mild soap. Um, most of the time I just throw a little bit of Dawn in my, one of my buckets, let them soak for a little bit, and then I power hose them again. And then I'll let them dry and put them back on your horse or put them away. Uh, the same thing's gonna be going for any fly masks you wanna do. With that being said, if you want to wash them in a washing machine without an agitator, you can do that too. I find it just easier to be able to wash it while I'm um, at my horse's location because I don't live, my horse doesn't live where I live, so it's easier for me to clean them while I'm still up there at the ranch with her. So, that was a great question. Um, and then if that, if we've answered all the questions, oh, one more. One more question. It's a quick question. Is the blanket behind you the same color as a plaid blanket? The blue on the horse? Oh, um, okay. Jesse said there's two questions. Oh. So, uh, something about, is it the same color? These colors and the color that's on, um, on his mask. Those are correlating colors. They're all gonna be our Kentucky blue. And now Jesse said that the other question was, is it a lighter weight fly sheet? Uh, this is a lighter weight. It's our Polymax fly sheet. And it's not as thick of a material as our Textiline. So a lot of people like that because it is technically lighter. <coughs> Sorry. However, I prefer the Textiline because it actually sits off of your horse more. And the Textiline does soften once it's being used and out in the sun. It softens with your horse's movement as well as with the sunlight um, and it sits a little off of your horse so it doesn't have that cling effect so it actually has a little more breathability than this one with that being said this is a great lightweight fly sheet and it's still going to provide some breathability my personal preference though would be to get our textiline fly sheet which is the material that this little mini guy is wearing um, the horse version looks a little different it doesn't come with that belly band but it's the same material so, all right, I think we got everything covered then, and uh, we're going to go ahead and sign off. Okay, and uh, if you do have any comments when you're watching this, if we're already gone, we have a team member who's dedicated to answering all your questions after the video's done. Um, you can always DM us, call us at the office at 909-469-1240. website at kensingtonproducts.com make sure you guys are going to your local tech stores and checking our stuff out make sure you're you know giving your local tech stores some love we really appreciate all of those uh small mom and pop shops in the kensington office so we appreciate when you show them your love too all right you guys my name is veronica and i am signing off eventually